Bismillahirrohmanirrohim Kisi-kisi materi kuliah umum Sabtu sore sepanjang masa Elektrik Telekonferensi bulan Juni tahun 2031 Masehi Mission of materials of the public lecture of evidence the day for time with electric teleconference of man Juni of year 2021 and no domini Arahan pendiri dan ketua umum Majelis Pimpinan Pusat Global Yayasan Maniraya The direction from the founder and the general chairman of the Central Global Leadership Assembly of the Great Mandeling Foundation Agus Salim ST bin Abdurrahim Nasution Materi-materi kuliah umum Sabtu sore sepanjang masa Elektrik Telekonferensi di Kantor Pusat Global Majelis Pimpinan Pusat Global Yayasan Mandeling Raya Materials of the public lecture of evidence the day of all time with Electric Telekonferensi in the Global Head Office of the Central Global Leadership Assembly of the Great Mandeling Foundation Sabtu 7 Juni tahun 2031, Materi Kuliah Umum Itele Conference, Eksistensi Koordinator Biro Kebutuhan Beras Rakyat, Divisi Logistik, Majelis Pimpinan Rukun Tetangga, Yayasan Manegraya. Di seluruh dunia yang dikonsentrasi taktiskan di Kabupaten Mandeng Natal, yang terdapat dalam jurnal bulanan analisis riset mikron gen biologis panjang masa, Nomor 257 bulan Mei tahun 2031, Saturday 7th of May Juni 2031, Public Lecture Material Italy Conference, Existence of the Coordinator of the Bureau of Rice, Demand for People, the Division of Logistics of the Neighbor Leadership Assembly of the Great Mandeling Foundation, on what way is concerns and targets in regency of Mandeling Natal. Contained in the Monday Journal of Research Analysis of Biological Genetic Micro Novel Time Number 257 of May 2031. Koordinator Biro Kebutuhan Beras Rakyat di Pisi Logistik Majelis Pimpinan Rukun Tetangga Yayasan Mandai Raya untuk merekomendasikan kepada jurusan teknik sipil. Fakultas Teknik Sipil dan Lingkungan, Jurusan Hukum Administrasi Negara, Jurusan Hukum Masyarakat dan Pembangunan, Jurusan Hukum Bisnis, Jurusan Hukum Ekonomi, Jurusan Hukum Perdagangan Internasional dan Jurusan Hukum Keuangan Negara, Fakultas Hukum, Jurusan Pendidikan Teknik dan Kejuruan, Jurusan Pendidikan Ekonomi dan Jurusan Pendidikan Teknik Bangunan, Fakultas Keguruan dan Ilmu Pendidikan, Manajemen dan Kebijakan Publik, Ilmu Administrasi Negara, dan Ilmu Administrasi Publik, Fakultas Ilmu Sosial dan Ilmu Politik, Muamalah, Hukum Bisnis Islam, Keuangan Islam, dan Hukum Ekonomi Syariah, Fakultas Syariah, Jurusan Teknik Sipil dan Lingkungan, Fakultas Teknologi Pertanian, Jurusan Ekonomi dan Studi Pembangunan, dan Jurusan Ekonomi Sumber Daya dan Lingkungan, Fakultas Ekonomi dan Manajemen, Jurusan Perencanaan dan Kebijakan Publik, dan Jurusan Bisnis Islam, Fakultas Ekonomi, Department of Urban Studies and Planning, School of Architecture and Planning, Civil and 
Environmental Engineering, School of Engineering, Master of Administration Program, Agricultural Management, Jurusan Perencanaan Wilayah dan Kota, Sekolah Arsitektur Perencanaan, dan Pengembangan Kebijakan dan Jurusan Manajemen dan Jurusan Kewirausahaan, Sekolah Bisnis dan Manajemen, Universitas Mandailing untuk memutahirkan Dengan memahami Surat Edaran Nomor 10 SEM 2018 tentang pemberlakuan standar dokumen Pemilihan pengadaan jasa konstruksi dalam rangka lelang dini di Kementerian Pekerjaan Umum dan Perumahan Rakyat untuk tahun anggaran 2019 yaitu Lampiran 1 Surat Edaran Menteri Pekerjaan Umum dan Perumahan Rakyat Nomor 10 SEM 2018 Tentang pemberlakuan standar dokumen pemilihan pengadaan jasa konstruksi dalam rangka lelang dini di Kementerian Pekerjaan Umum dan Perumahan Rakyat untuk tahun anggaran Dua ribu sembilan belas itu dokumen pemilihan, yaitu pemberian penjelasan. Pemberian penjelasan dilakukan secara online melalui aplikasi sistem pengadaan secara elektronik sesuai jadwal. Dalam aplikasi sistem pengadaan secara elektronik, peserta yang tidak aktif membuka sistem pengadaan secara elektronik dan atau tidak bertanya pada saat pemberian. Penjelasan tidak dapat dijadikan dasar untuk menolak menggugurkan penawaran apabila diperlukan kelompok kerja pemilihan dapat memberikan informasi yang dianggap penting terkait dengan dokumen pemilihan apabila diperlukan kelompok kerja pemilihan dapat memberikan penjelasan lanjutan Dengan cara melakukan peninjauan lapangan, biaya yang diperlukan peserta dalam rangka peninjauan lapangan ditanggung oleh masing-masing peserta, kelompok kerja pemilihan, menjawab setiap pertanyaan yang masuk kecuali untuk substansi pertanyaan yang telah dijawab. Apabila diperlukan, kelompok kerja pemilihan dapat memberikan penjelasan Ulang, apabila diperlukan, kelompok kerja pemilihan pada saat berlangsungnya pemberian penjelasan dapat menambah waktu batas akhir tahapan tersebut sesuai dengan Kebutuhan, dalam hal waktu tahap penjelasan telah berakhir, peserta tidak dapat mengajukan pertanyaan namun kelompok kerja pemilihan masih mempunyai tambahan waktu Untuk menjawab pertanyaan yang masuk pada akhir jadwal, kumpulan tanya jawab pada saat pemberian penjelasan dalam aplikasi sistem pengadaan secara elektronik merupakan Berita acara pemberian penjelasan, jika dilaksanakan peninjauan lapangan dapat dibuat berita acara pemberian penjelasan lanjutan dan diunggah melalui Aplikasi sistem pengadaan secara elektronik, berita acara pemberian penjelasan lapangan menjadi bagian dari berita acara pemberian penjelasan dan Perubahan dokumen pemilihan, apabila pada saat pemberian penjelasan terhadap hal-hal ketentuan baru atau perubahan penting yang perlu ditampung, maka kelompok kerja Pemilihan menuangkan ke dalam adendum dokumen pemilihan yang menjadi bagian tidak terpisahkan dari dokumen pemilihan, perubahan rancangan kontrak. Spesifikasi teknis, gambar dan atau nilai total harga perkiraan sendiri harus mendapatkan persetujuan pejabat pembuat komitmen sebelum dituangkan dalam
adendum dokumen pemilihan apabila ketentuan baru atau perubahan penting tersebut tidak dituangkan dalam adendum dokumen pemilihan maka ketentuan baru atau perubahan tersebut dianggap tidak ada dan ketentuan yang berlaku adalah dokumen pemilihan awal setelah pemberian penjelasan dan sebelum batas akhir waktu pemasukan penawaran kelompok kerja Pemilihan dapat menetapkan adendum dokumen pemilihan berdasarkan informasi baru yang memengaruhi substansi dokumen pemilihan. Setiap adendum yang ditetapkan merupakan bagian yang tidak terpisahkan dari dokumen pemilihan. Kelompok kerja pemilihan mengumumkan adendum dokumen pemilihan dengan cara Mengunggah upload adendum dokumen pemilihan melalui aplikasi sistem pengadaan secara elektronik paling lambat 3 hari kerja sebelum batas akhir pemasukan penawaran. Apabila kelompok kerja pemilihan akan mengunggah upload adendum dokumen pemilihan kurang dari 3 hari kerja sebelum batas akhir pemasukan penawaran, maka Kelompok kerja pemilihan wajib mengundurkan batas air pemasukan penawaran. Peserta dapat mengunduh download adendum dokumen pemilihan yang diunggah upload kelompok kerja pemilihan pada aplikasi sistem pengadaan secara elektronik apabila ada dan tambahan waktu pemasukan dokumen penawaran apabila adendum dokumen. Pemilihan mengakibatkan kebutuhan penambahan waktu penyiapan dokumen penawaran, maka kelompok kerja pemilihan memperpanjang batas akhir pemasukan penawaran. The coordinator of the Bureau of Rights Demand for People, the Division of Logistics of the Neighborhood Leadership Assembly of the Great Morning Foundation, to recommend today, Department of Civil Engineering, the Faculty of Civil and Environmental Engineering, the Department of State Administrative Law, the Department of Law of Public and Development, the Department of Business Law, the Department of Economic Law, the Department of International Trade Law, and the Department of State of Financial Law, the Faculty of Law, the Department of Engineering and Vocational Education, the Department of Economic Education, and the Department of Building Engineering Education, the Faculty of Teacher Training, and Education Science, Management and Public Policy, State Administration Science, and Public Administration Science, the Faculty of Social Sciences and Political Sciences, Muamala. Islamic Business Law, Islamic Finance and Sharia Economic Law, the Faculty of Sharia, the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, the Faculty of Agricultural, Technology, the Department of Economics and Development Studies, and the Department of Research and Environmental Economics, the Faculty of Economics and Management, the Department of Planning and Public Policy and the Department of Islamic Business, the Faculty of Economics, the Department of Urban Studies and Planning, School of Architecture and Planning, Civil and Environmental Engineering, School of Engineering, Master of Business Administration Program, Agus Salim Management, the Department of Regional and City Planning, the School of Architecture, Planning and Policy Development, and the Department of Management and the Department of Entrepreneurship, the School of Business and
management of Mandarin University to update my understanding. Number 10 SEM 2018 concerning enforcement of standards of selection documents. Two thousand nineteen, namely an equal of circular letter of the Minister of Public Works and Public Housing. Number ten S E M two thousand eighteen concerning the attainment of the standard of selection document for the procurement of Construction services in the election framework at the Ministry of Public Works and Public Housing for fiscal year 2019, namely document selection that sees provision of explanation. The explanation is done online through the application of the electronic procurement system according to the schedule in the application of the electronic procurement system. Participants who are not active open an electronic procurement system and or do not ask at the time of giving an explanation cannot be used as a basis for rejecting or voting the offer. If needed, the election working group can provide information that is considered important in relation to the election documents. If needed, the election working group can provide Further explanation by conducting a field review. The fees encouraged by the participants in the field review are run by each participants. The working group of election answer every incoming question, except for the substance of questions that have been answered. If needed, the election working group can provide an explanation. Refit if needed, the working Group of the selection at the time of the explanation is given again at uh, to the time limit for the stage according to the needs. In the event that the explanation state has ended, the participant cannot ask questions, but the election working group still has additional time to answer the questions that are entered at the end of the schedule. Collection of questions and Answer at the time of giving an explanation in the application of the electric programming system is the minutes of explanation. If a field review is carried out, an official report of provision of explanation can be made and uploaded through the application of the electric programming system. The minutes of field explanation is part of the minutes. of explanation and sends to the bidding document. If at the time of giving an explanation there are new things, provisions or important things that need to be accommodated, then the working group of elections shall fall into the addendum to the bidding documents, which is an integral part of the bidding document, changed to the draft contract, technical Specification, drawing, and or total value of the own estimated price must obtain a profile from the equipment making officer before it is set forth in the bidding document addendum. If the new provision or important change are not stated in the bidding document addendum, then the new provision or change are deemed non existent and the applicable provisions are. The initial selection documents, after provision of explanation and before the deadline for submission of bids, the working group for election can establish an addendum to the bidding. Documents, was it on new information that affects the substance of the bidding document, its addendum specifies its integral parts of the bidding document. The
Working Group of Election Working Group announced uh, the addendum of the bidding document by uploading the addendum to the bidding document through the electronic. Procurement system application no later than three working days first to the deadline for submission of bids. If the working group of election will upload the bidding document addendum less, then three working days before the deadline for submission of bids, the working group of election shall postpone the deadline for submission of bids. Participants can. Download the selection document addendum of loaded working group of selection on the electric procurement system application, if any, and additional entry time for bidding. Documents if the addendum of the bidding document result in the need for additional time to prepare bidding documents, the working group of election. Extends the deadline for submission of bids Sabtu 14 Juni tahun 2031 Matriculum e-teleconference Eksistensi Biro Kebutuhan Beras Rakyat Divisi Logistik Majelis Pembina Rukun Tetangga Yayasan Mandeng Raya di seluruh dunia yang dikonsentrasi taktiskan di Kabupaten Mandeng Natal Yang terdapat dalam jurnal bulanan analis riset mikron gen biologi sepanjang masa nomor 257 bulan Mei tahun 2031. Saturday 14 of Man Juni 2021, Public Lecture Material Italy Conference, Extents of the Bureau of Price Demand for People, the Division of Logistics of the Nengbul Deceive Assembly of the Great Morning Foundation, Honored White, is Concerned and Takatis in the Gensi of Morning Natal. Contain the money journal of the analysis of biological genetic migrant of all time number 257 of Man May 2031. Personal Bureau Kebutuhan Beras Rakyat, Divisi Logistik, Majelis Pimpinan Rukun Tetangga, Yayasan Manegraya, untuk merekomendasikan. Pada jurusan teknik sipil, fakultas teknik sipil dan lingkungan, jurusan hukum administrasi negara, jurusan hukum masyarakat dan pembangunan, jurusan hukum, bisnis, jurusan hukum ekonomi, jurusan hukum perdagangan internasional, dan jurusan hukum keuangan negara, fakultas hukum, jurusan pendidikan teknik dan kejuruan. Jurusan Pendidikan Ekonomi dan Jurusan Pendidikan Teknik Bangunan, Fakultas Keguruan dan Ilmu Pendidikan, Manajemen dan Kebijakan Publik, Ilmu Administrasi Negara, dan Ilmu Administrasi Publik, Fakultas Ilmu Sosial dan Ilmu Politik, Muamalah, Hukum Bisnis Islam, Keuangan Islam, dan Hukum Ekonomi Syariah, Fakultas Syariah, Jurusan Teknik, Sipil dan Lingkungan, Fakultas Teknologi Pertanian, Jurusan Ekonomi dan Studi Pembangunan, dan Jurusan Ekonomi Sumber Daya dan Lingkungan, Fakultas Ekonomi, dan Manajemen, Jurusan Perencanaan dan Kebijakan Publik, dan Jurusan Bisnis Islam, Fakultas Ekonomi, The Department of Urban Studies and Planning, School of Architecture, And planning, Civil and Environmental Engineering, School of Engineering, Master of Business Administration Program, Agus Salim Management, Jurusan Perencanaan Wilayah dan Kota. Sekolah Arsitektur, Perencanaan dan Pengembangan Kebijakan, dan Jurusan Manajemen dan Jurusan Kewirausahaan, Sekolah Bisnis dan Manajemen, Universitas Mandailing. Untuk memutahirkan dengan memahami surat edaran nomor 10 SEM 2018 tentang
Pemberlakuan standar dokumen pemilihan pengadaan jasa konstruksi dalam rangka lelang dini di Kementerian Pekerjaan Umum dan Perumahan Rakyat. Untuk tahun anggaran 2019, yaitu lampiran satu surat edaran Menteri Pekerjaan Umum dan Perumahan Rakyat. Nomor 10 SEM 2018 tentang pemberlakuan standar dokumen pemilihan pengadaan jasa konstruksi dalam rangka lelang dini di Kementerian Pekerjaan Umum dan Perumahan Rakyat. Untuk tahun anggaran 2019 yaitu penyiapan dokumen penawaran yaitu 1. Biaya dalam penyiapan penawaran, peserta menanggung semua biaya dalam penyiapan dan Penyampaian penawaran Kelompok kerja pemilihan tidak bertanggung jawab atas kerugian apapun yang ditanggung oleh peserta Bahasa penawaran Semua dokumen Penawaran harus menggunakan bahasa Indonesia Dokumen penunjang yang terkait dengan dokumen penawaran dapat menggunakan bahasa Indonesia atau bahasa Inggris Dan Dokumen penunjang yang berbahasa Inggris perlu disertai penjelasan dalam bahasa Indonesia. Dalam hal terjadi perbedaan penafsiran, maka yang berlaku adalah penjelasan dalam bahasa Indonesia. Dokumen penawaran, dokumen penawaran paling kurang terdiri atas penawaran administrasi, penawaran teknis, dan penawaran harga. Dokumen Penawaran meliputi dokumen penawaran administrasi terdiri atas surat penawaran, jaminan penawaran asli apabila disyaratkan, dan surat perjanjian kerjasama operasi. Apabila peserta berbentuk kerjasama operasi, dokumen penawaran teknis terdiri atas metode pelaksanaan pekerjaan, jangka waktu pelaksanaan pekerjaan, daftar isian. Peralatan utama, daftar isian personel manajeral beserta surat pernyataan kepemilikan sertifikat kompetensi kerja, rencana keselamatan konstruksi, daftar isian bagian pekerjaan. Yang akan disubkontrakkan dan atau nominasi subpenyedia jasa spesialis dan atau nominasi subpenyedia kecil provinsi setempat apabila disyaratkan dan dokumen lain yang Disyaratkan apabila ada dokumen penawaran harga teri atas penawaran harga tercantum dalam surat penawaran, daftar kuantitas dan harga untuk bagian kontrak, harga satuan serta daftar keluaran dan harga untuk bagian kontrak langsung dan khusus apabila ada evaluasi, Kewajaran harga di bawah 80% harga pergian sendiri akan dipenuhi pada saat acara Klarifikasi kewajaran harga yaitu analisa harga satuan pekerjaan untuk bagian pekerjaan harga satuan, rincian keluaran dan harga untuk bagian pekerjaan langsung. Analisa harga satuan pekerjaan untuk bagian pekerjaan harga satuan dari rincian keluaran dan harga untuk bagian pekerjaan langsung bukan merupakan bagian dari dokumen kontrak. Dan dokumen lain, formulir rekapitulasi perhitungan tingkat komponen dalam negeri apabila memiliki syarat untuk diberikan preferensi harga. Daftar barang yang diimpor apabila ada. Personal of the Bureau of Rice Demand for People, the Division of Logistic of the Neighborhood Leadership Assembly of the Grid Management Foundation. To recommend to the Department of Civil Engineering, the Faculty of Civil and Environmental Engineering, Department of State Administrative Law, T.
the partner of law of public and development, the department of business law, the department of economic law, the department of international and trade law, and the department of state of financial. Law, the Faculty of Law, the Department of Engineering and Vocational Education, the Department of Economic Education, and the Department of Building Engineering Education. The Faculty of Teacher Training and Education Science, Management and Public Policy, State Administration Science, and Public Administration Science, the Faculty of Social Sciences, and Political Sciences, Mu'amalah, Islamic Business Law, Islamic Finance and Sharia Economic Law, the Faculty of Sharia, the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, the Faculty of Agricultural Technology, the Department of Economics and Development Studies, and the Department of Research and Environmental Economics, the Faculty of Economics and Management, the Department of Planning and Public Policy, and the Department of Islamic Business, the Faculty of Economics, the Department of Urban Studies and Planning School. Of Architecture and Planning, Civil and Environmental Engineering, School of Engineering, Master of Business Administration Program, Salim Management. The Department of Regional and City Planning, the School of Architecture, Planning and Policy Development, and the Department of Management and Department of Entrepreneurship. The School of Business and Management of Manila University to update by understanding circular letter. Number 10, SEM 2018, concerning enforcement of standards of selection documents for the procurement of construction services in the context of yearly action in the Ministry of Public Works and Public Housing for budget year. Two thousand nineteen, namely an equal of circular letter of the Minister of Public Works and Public Housing. Number ten SEM two thousand eighteen concerning the enactment of the standard of selection document for the procurement of Construction services in the election framework at the Ministry of Public Works and Public Housing for fiscal year 2019. Namely, preparation of bidding documents, namely cost in preparing of a bid, participants bear all costs in the preparation and delivery of bids and the election working group is not. Responsible for any losses encouraged by the participants, language of offer, all bidding documents must use Indonesian, supporting documents related to bidding. Documents can use Indonesian or English, and supporting documents that speak English need to be accompanied by an explanation in Indonesian, in the event of difference in Interpretation, the explanation in Indonesia shall prevail. Bidding documents, the bidder document consists of at least administrative offer, technical offer, and price offer. Bidding documents include the administrative bidding document consists of bid letter, original bid guarantee, if required, and operation cooperation agreement, if they Participant is the form of joint operation. Technical bidding document consists of method of carry out work, the field of execution of work, list of main equipment, list of 
manage your personal along with a statement of ownership certificate of work competence, construction safety plan, a list of parts of the work to be subcontracted and or the nomination of subsidiary service provider and all the nomination of small sub provider of the local province if required and other documents required if any price bid document consists of price bid stated in the bid letter list of quantities and price for parts of contract of unit price as well as list of outputs and price for parts of lump sum contract and specifically if there is an previous evolution of price below 80 percent of the self-estimated price will be fulfilled at the price fairness clarification even namely job unit price analysis for unit price work output and price details for lump sum jobs of analysis of work unit prices for Unit prices, work and output and price detail for lump sum jobs are not part of the contract document and other documents form of for recapitulation of calculation of domestic component level if eligible for price preference list of imported goods if any Sabtu 21 Juni tahun 2031 Matriculum Italy Conference Eksistensi Sekretaris Divisi Logistik Majelis Pimpinan Rukun Tetangga Yayasan Manegraya di seluruh dunia yang dikonsentrasi taktiskan di Kabupaten Maneg Natal. Yang terdapat dalam jurnal bulanan Analis Riset Mikron Gen Biologis Panjang Masa nomor 257 bulan Mei tahun 2031. Saturday, 21st of May, June 2021, Public Literature Material Italy Conference, Extent of the Secretary of the Division of Logistics of the Neighbor, the Ship Assembly of the Great Modeling Foundation. On what way this concern targets in the agency of Modeling Natal, contained in the Monday Journal of the Analysis of Biological Genetic Micron over time. Number 257 of Man May 2021, Sekretaris Divisi Logistik, Majelis Pimpinan Rukun Tetangga, Yayasan Maniraya. Untuk merekomendasikan kepada jurusan teknik sipil, fakultas teknik sipil dan lingkungan, jurusan hukum administrasi negara, jurusan hukum masyarakat, dan Pembangunan, jurusan hukum bisnis, jurusan hukum ekonomi, jurusan hukum perdagangan internasional, dan jurusan hukum keuangan negara, fakultas hukum, jurusan pendidikan. Teknik dan kejuruan, jurusan pendidikan ekonomi dan jurusan pendidikan teknik bangunan, fakultas kejuruan dan ilmu pendidikan, manajemen dan kebijakan publik. Ilmu Administrasi Negara dan Ilmu Administrasi Publik, Fakultas Ilmu Sosial dan Ilmu Politik, Muamalah, Hukum Bisnis Islam, Keuangan Islam, dan Hukum Ekonomi Syariah. Fakultas Syariah, Jurusan Teknik Sipil dan Lingkungan, Fakultas Teknologi Pertanian, Jurusan Ekonomi dan Studi Pembangunan, dan Jurusan Ekonomi Sumber Daya dan Lingkungan, Fakultas Ekonomi dan Manajemen, Jurusan Perencanaan dan Kebijakan Publik, dan Jurusan Bisnis Islam, Fakultas Ekonomi, di Department of Women's Studies, and Planning, School of Architecture and Planning, Civil and Environmental Engineering, School of Engineering, Master of Administration Program, Agus Salim Management, Jurusan Perencanaan Wilayah dan Kota, Sekolah Arsitektur, Perencanaan dan Pengembangan Kebijakan, dan Jurusan Manajemen dan Jurusan Kewirausahaan, Sekolah Bisnis dan Manajemen.
Universitas Mandailing untuk memutahirkan dengan memahami surat edaran nomor 10 SEM 2018 tentang pemberlakuan standar dokumen pemilihan pengadaan jasa. Konstruksi dalam rangka lelang dini di Kementerian Pekerjaan Umum dan Perumahan Rakyat. Untuk tahun anggaran 2019, yaitu lampiran 1 Surat Edaran Menteri Pekerjaan Umum dan Perumahan Rakyat, Nomor 10 SEM 2018 tentang pemberlakuan standar dokumen pemilihan pengadaan. Jasa konstruksi dalam rangka lelang dini di Kementerian Pekerjaan Umum dan Perumahan Rakyat untuk tahun anggaran. Dua ribu sembilan belas yaitu penyiapan dokumen penawaran, yaitu harga penawaran. Total harga penawaran ditulis dalam angka dan huruf, beserta untuk bagian pekerjaan harga satuan, mencantumkan harga satuan dan harga total untuk tiap mata pembayaran pekerjaan dalam daftar kuantitas dan harga untuk bagian pekerjaan langsung. Mencantumkan harga keluaran output dan harga total untuk setiap keluaran output pekerjaan dalam daftar keluaran dan harga. Total harga penawaran adalah penjumlahan. Harga dari bagian pekerjaan, harga satuan, dan bagian pekerjaan langsung. Biaya overhead, biaya umum, dan keuntungan termasuk untuk penyelenggaraan biaya. Kawasan dan staf lapangan, tenaga ahli lapangan, administrasi kantor lapangan, konstruksi dan fasilitas sementara, transportasi, konsumsi keamanan, kontrol, kualitas dan pengujian, serta semua pajak, biaya retribusi, tenaga kerja, praktik, magang, dan pungutan lain yang sah serta yang harus dibayar oleh penyedia untuk pelaksanaan paket. Pekerjaan konstruksi ini telah diperhitungkan dalam total harga penawaran, komponen item pekerjaan, penyelenggaraan keamanan dan keselamatan kerja, serta keselamatan konstruksi. Dimasukkan dalam daftar kuantitas dan harga dengan besaran biaya berkisar antara Satu persen sampai dua setengah persen dari nilai pekerjaan atau sesuai dengan kebutuhan perkiraan biaya. Penyelenggaraan keamanan dan kesehatan kerja serta keselamatan konstruksi minimal mencakup penyiapan rencana keselamatan konstruksi, sosialisasi, dan promosi. Keselamatan dan kesehatan kerja, alat pelindung kerja diri, asuransi dan perizinan, personel keselamatan dan kesehatan kerja, fasilitas prasarana kesehatan, rambu-rambu yang diperlukan konsultasi dan ahli keselamatan konstruksi, dan lain-lain terkait pengendalian risiko keselamatan dan kesehatan kerja, dan keselamatan konstruksi, penyesuaian harga, Diperlakukan sebagaimana diatur dalam syarat-syarat umum kontrak, syarat-syarat khusus kontrak, hanya untuk pekerjaan harga satuan dan masa pelaksanaannya lebih dari 18. Bulan sebagaimana tercantum dalam lembar data pemilihan dan mata uang penawaran dan cara pembayaran, semua harga dalam penawaran harus Dalam bentuk mata uang sebagaimana tercantum dalam lembar data pemilihan dan pembayaran atas pelaksanaan pekerjaan dilakukan sesuai dengan cara sebagaimana.
tercantum dalam lembar data pemilihan dan diuraikan dalam syarat-syarat umum kontrak, syarat-syarat khusus kontrak. The Secretary of the Division of Logistics of the Nekbul Leadership Assembly of the Great Malayan Foundation to recommend to the Department of Civil Engineering the faculty of Civil and Environmental Engineering, the Department of State Administrative Law, the Department of Law of Public and Development, the Department of Business Law, the Department of Economic Law, the Department of International Trade Law, and the Department of State Financial Law, the Faculty of Law, the Department of Engineering and Vocational Education, the Department of Economic Education and the Department of Welding Engineering Education, the Faculty of Teacher Training and Education Science, Management and Public Policy. State Administration Science and Public Administration Science, the Faculty of Social Sciences and Political Sciences, Muamala, Islamic Business Law, Islamic Finance and Sharia Economic. Law, the Faculty of Sharia, the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, the Faculty of Agricultural Technology, the Department of Economics and Development. Studies in the Department of Research and Environmental Economics, the Faculty of Economics and Management, the Department of Learning and Public Policy, and the Department of Islamic Business, the Faculty of Economics, the Department of Urban Studies and Planning, School of Architecture and Planning, Civil and Environmental Engineering, School of Engineering, Master of Business Administration Program, Agusali Management, the Department of Regional and City Planning, the School of Architecture, Planning and Policy, Development, and the Department of Management and Department of Entrepreneurship, the School of Business and Management of Manor University to update by Understanding Circular Letter Number 10 SEM 2018 concerning enforcement of Standard of Selection Documents for the Procurement of Construction Services in the Context of Yearly Action in the Ministry of Public Works and Public Housing for Budget Year. Two thousand nineteen, namely in the Quan of Circular Letter of the Minister of Public Works and Public Housing. Number ten SEM two thousand eighteen concerning the enactment of the standard of selection documents for the procurement of construction services in the early action framework at the Ministry. of public works and public housing for fiscal year 2019, namely preparation of bidding documents, namely bid price, the total of bid price is written in the numbers and letter. Participant for the unit price work section lists the unit price and total price for each item of payment work in the price and quantity list for the lump sum work section lists the output price and total price for each output of work in the output and price list. The total of bid price is the sum of the prices of the unit price of work section and the lump sum job section. Overhead costs, general costs, and benefits include administrating supervision costs and field staff, fit experts, fit office administration, temporary construction, and facilities. Transportation, consumption, security, quality control, and testing, and all taxes, that is, fees, labor implement, practice, apprenticeship, and other legal levies, 
that must be paid by the provider for the implementation of the construction work package have been calculated in the total of bid price components items for the implementation of work safety and health as well as construction safety are included in the quantity and price list with the amount of the fee ranging from 1% to 1.5% of the value of the work or according to needs the cost estimated of implementing work safety and health as well as safety of construction includes a minimum preparation of the construction safety plan socialization and promotion of occupational safety of health and health workshop protective equipment insurance and permits occupational health and safety health infrastructure facilities science needed consultation with construction safety expert etc related to risk control of occupational health and safety and construction safety price adjustments are available as stipulated in the contract general terms official condition of contract only for unit price work and the implementation product of more than 18 months as stated in the election data sheet and offer currency and Payment method all price in the offer must be in the form of currency as stated in the election data sheet and payment for the execution of work is carried out in accordance with the methods stated in the election data sheet and described in the contract general terms special conditions of contract. Sabtu 28 Juni tahun 2031, Materi Kuliah Umum Itelek Conference, Eksistensi Ketua Divisi Logistik, Majelis Pimpinan Rukun Tetangga, Yayasan Malayraya, di seluruh dunia. Yang dikonsentrasi taktiskan di Kabupaten Maring Natal, yang terlapor dalam jurnal bulanan Analis Riset Mikron Gen Biologi Sepanjang Masa, nomor 257 bulan Mei tahun 2031. Saturday 21st of May June 2021 public lecture material Italy conference extensive of the chairman of the division of logistic of the neighborhood leadership assembly of the great Marlin foundation is concerned that this regency of morning natal contained in the monthly journal of research and leases of biological genetic mirror of all time Number 257 of May 2021, Ketua Divisi Logistik Majelis Pimpinan Rukun Tetangga Yayasan Maneng Raya. Untuk merekomendasikan kepada jurusan teknik sipil, Fakultas Teknik Sipil dan Lingkungan, jurusan hukum administrasi negara, jurusan hukum masyarakat dan Pembangunan, jurusan hukum bisnis, jurusan hukum ekonomi, jurusan hukum perdagangan internasional, dan jurusan hukum keuangan negara, fakultas hukum, jurusan pendidikan. Teknik dan kejuruan, jurusan pendidikan ekonomi dan jurusan pendidikan teknik bangunan, fakultas figuruan dan ilmu pendidikan, manajemen dan kebijakan publik. Ilmu Administrasi Negara dan Ilmu Administrasi Publik, Fakultas Ilmu Sosial dan Ilmu Politik, Muamalah, Hukum Bisnis Islam, Keuangan Islam, dan Hukum Ekonomi Syariah. Fakultas Syariah, Jurusan Teknik Sipil dan Lingkungan, Fakultas Teknologi Pertanian, Jurusan Ekonomi dan Studi Pembangunan, dan Jurusan Ekonomi Sumber Daya dan Lingkungan, Fakultas Ekonomi dan Manajemen, Jurusan Perencanaan dan Kebijakan Publik, dan Jurusan Bisnis Islam, Fakultas Ekonomi, The Department of Urban Studies, and
Planning, School of Architecture and Planning, Civil and Environmental Engineering, School of Engineering, Master of Business Administration Program, Selling Management, Jurusan Perencanaan Wilayah dan Kota, School of Architecture, Perencanaan dan Pengembangan Kebijakan, dan Jurusan Manajemen dan Jurusan Kewirausahaan, School of Business dan Manajemen. Universitas Mandeling untuk memutahirkan dengan memahami surat edaran Nomor 10 SEM 2018 tentang pemberlakuan standar dokumen pemilihan pengadaan jasa konstruksi dalam rangka lelang Dini di Kementerian Pekerjaan Umum dan Perumahan Rakyat untuk tahun anggaran 2019 yaitu Lampiran 1 Surat Edaran Menteri Pekerjaan Umum dan Perumahan Rakyat nomor 10 SEM 2018 Tentang pemberlakuan standar dokumen pemilihan pengadaan jasa konstruksi dalam rangka lelang dini di Kementerian Pekerjaan Umum dan Perumahan Rakyat untuk tahun anggaran. Hai 2019 yaitu penyiapan dokumen penawaran yaitu masa berlaku penawaran dan jangka waktu pelaksanaan masa berlaku. Penawaran sesuai dengan ketentuan sebagaimana tercantum dalam lembar data pemilihan apabila evaluasi penawaran belum selesai dilaksanakan sebelum akhir masa. Berlakunya penawaran, kelompok kerja pemilihan meminta kepada seluruh peserta secara tertulis untuk memperpanjang masa berlakunya surat penawaran dan atau Jaminan penawaran dalam jangka waktu tertentu dan diperhitungkan paling kurang sampai perkiraan tanggal penandatanganan kontrak apabila penetapan pemenang. Telah disampaikan dan tidak ada sanggah, sanggah banding, tetapi daftar isian pelaksanaan anggaran, dokumen pelaksanaan anggaran belum disahkan. Kelompok kerja pemilihan meminta secara tertulis kepada pemenang tender untuk memperpanjang masa berlakunya penawaran dalam jangka waktu tertentu dan diperhitungkan paling kurang. Sampai perkiraan tanggal penandatanganan kontrak berkaitan dengan 1, 2, dan 1, 3, maka peserta dapat menyetujui permintaan tersebut tanpa mengubah penawaran. Atau menolak permintaan tersebut dan dapat mengundurkan diri secara tertulis dengan tidak dikenakan sanksi dan jangka waktu pelaksanaan pekerjaan yang ditawarkan tidak melebihi jangka waktu sebagaimana tercantum dalam lembar data pemilihan, pengisian data kualifikasi, peserta berkewajiban untuk mengisi Formulir isian elektronik data kualifikasi dalam aplikasi sistem pengadaan secara elektronik atau mengisi data penyedia pada aplikasi sistem informasi kinerja penyedia. Peserta tidak perlu mengunggah hasil pemindaian scan dokumen administrasi kualifikasi pada fasilitas unggahan dokumen penawaran dan dengan mengirimkan data. Kualifikasi melalui sistem pengadaan secara elektronik dalam hal peserta tunggal, data kualifikasi, dan pernyataan yang menjadi bagian kualifikasi dianggap telah ditandatangani dan disetujui, dan dalam hal peserta pemilihan bekerjasama operasi, data kualifikasi, dan pernyataan yang menjadi bagian kualifikasi dianggap telah ditandatangani.
dan disetujui oleh pejabat yang menurut perjanjian kerjasama operasi berhak mewakili lead firm kerjasama operasi. Fakta integritas, fakta integritas berisi ikrar untuk mencegah dan tidak melakukan kolusi, korupsi, dan nepotisme, serta akan mengikuti proses pemilihan secara bersih, transparan, dan profesional, dan dengan mendaftar sebagai peserta tender melalui aplikasi sistem pengadaan secara elektronik, maka peserta telah menandatangani fakta integritas kecuali untuk peserta yang melakukan kerja. Sama operasi, maka baran usaha yang ditunjuk mewakili dead firm kerjasama operasi wajib menyampaikan fakta integritas anggota kerjasama operasi nya melalui fasilitas unggahan lainnya pada formulir isian elektronik data kualifikasi di aplikasi sistem pengadaan secara elektronik. The chairman of the division of logistics of the Nagpuri Civil Assembly of the Great Manipur Foundation to recommend to the Department of Civil Engineering the faculty of Civil and Environmental Engineering, the Department of State Administrative Law, the Department of Law of Public and Development, the Department of Business Law, the Department of Economic Law, the Department of International Trade Law, and the Department of State Financial Law, the Faculty of Law, the Department of Engineering and Vocational Education, the Department of Economic Education and the Department of Building Engineering Education, the Faculty of Teacher Training and Education Science, Management and Public Policy. The State Administration Science and Public Administration Science, the Faculty of Social Sciences and Political Sciences, Muamala, Islamic Business Law, Islamic Finance and Sharia Economic. Law, the Faculty of Sharia, the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, the Faculty of Agricultural Technology, the Department of Economics and Development. Studies in the Department of Research and Environmental Economics, the Faculty of Economics and Management, the Department of Planning and Public Policy, and the Department of Islamic Business, the Faculty of Economics, the Department of Urban Studies and Planning, School of Architecture and Planning, Civil and Environmental Engineering, School of Engineering, Master of Business Administration Program, Agusalim Management, the Department of Regional and City Planning, the School of Architecture Planning and Policy, Development, and the Department of Management and the Department of Entrepreneurship, the School of Business and Management of Mandarin University, to update by Understanding Circular Letter Number 10 as EM 2018 concerning enforcement of standards of selection documents. For the procurement of construction services in the context of early action in the Ministry of Public Works and Public Housing for Budget GR. Two thousand nineteen, namely in the Quan of Circular Letter of the Minister of Public Works and Public Housing number ten S E M two thousand eighteen. Concerning the enactment of the standard of selection documents for the procurement of construction services in the election framework at the Ministry of Public Works and Public Housing. For fiscal year 2019, namely preparation of bidding document, namely bid validity of an end implementation period, the validity period of the offer is in the
In accordance with the provision states in the election data sheet, if the bit evaluation has not been completed before the end of the ability period of the bit, the election working group asks all participants in writing to extend the ability period of the offer letter and orbit a guarantee within a certain period and account at least until the estimated date of signing the contract if they Determination of the winner has been submitted and there is no objection, but the budget implementation list, a budget implementation document, has not yet been ratified. The working group of election will ask in writing to the tender winner to extend the definitive fraud of bidding within a certain fraud of time and calculate it at least until the estimated date of signing the contract. Regarding and participant can evolve the request without changing the offer or reject the request and can resign in writing without being penalized on the period of execution of the work of for it does not exceed the period stated in the election data sheet filling any qualification data participants are obliged to fill out an electronic form of Qualification data in the electronic procurement system application or fill in the provided data in the provided performance information system application. Participants do not need to upload the second result of qualification administrative documents at the bid document upload facility and by sending qualification data through the electronic procurement. System. In the case of a single participant, the qualification data and the statement that becomes part of the qualification are deemed assigned and improved. And in the case of the election, participant in the joint operation, the qualification data and the statement that is part of the qualification are considered to have been signed and improved by official WU according to the Joint cooperation agreement are entitled to represent that firm of region cooperation. Integrity fact. The integrity fact contains a pledge to prevent and not carry out collusion, corruption, and nepotism, and will take part of selection process in a clean, transparent, and professional, and by registering as a tender participant through the application of the Electronic procurement system, the participants have signed the integrity FAC, except for participants who conduct operational cooperation, the business entity appointed to represent let frame the operations cooperation must submit the integrity fact of member of the operation cooperation took out their upload opposites on electronic form of data. Qualification in the electronic procurement system application. Sumber sumber sukses surat edaran nomor 10 SEM 2018 tentang pemberlakuan standar dokumen pemilihan. Pengadaan jasa konstruksi dalam rangka lelang dini di Kementerian Pekerjaan Umum dan Perumahan Rakyat untuk tahun anggaran 2019. Circular Letter Number 10 SEM 2018 concerning enforcement of the selection document standard for procurement of construction services in the context of Election in the Ministry of Public Works and Public Housing for Budget Year 2019, Google Translate. Mandaling Natal, Sumatera Utara, Indonesia, 1 Juni tahun 2031 Masehi, Face of Man Juni 2021, and Not Domini. Thank you very much.